Hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookandwomen.com and me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram. I wanted to bring you a little video today that will show you just how you can use up all of those little scrap pieces you've got. I've got a bowl of scraps here. I've got all kinds of little scraps, recent scraps in it. I've got some bigger pieces of scrap here. I've got my one and a half inch circle punch and that's the one that I use for notching uh, pockets and junk journals and then I've got my vintage photo distress ink just the regular not oxide and we're going to punch a bunch of circles and then we're going to decorate those little circles and have them as embellishments for our journals so if you are not a subscriber here I would appreciate a subscribe click and I think it's right about here you can click the subscribe on my face right here in the corner and I would appreciate a thumbs up if you go ahead and like this video you can come back to it in your dashboard has a liked videos playlist and you can go to your liked videos and watch it again in the future when you want to make this if you're not already ready to make it if you are grab your one and a half inch circle punch and let's go all right so i have all of these one and a half inch circles punched out with my punch and here is all of my scrap paper from where i punched those I'm gonna put that in the garbage move this over here and here are all of our circles and i have already inked all of the edges with my vintage photo distress ink so here comes the challenge m's scrap busters m's scrap busters i'm going to write that down on a piece of paper so it can be a visual for you if i can find a piece of paper i sure already had this laid out huh here we go m's scrap busters hashtag m's scrap busters and i'll of course have that in the description below but here is the challenge you have if i'm my phone here 30 minutes you have 30 minutes and let's see what we can get done in 30 minutes so 30 and that's after you've already punched them out and distressed the edges you have 30 minutes and let's see how many we can get done we're just going to make embellishments until our timer goes off okay so here we go 30 minutes there's the timer and I'm just going to go through scraps and find stuff that I really like and start tearing and doing all kinds of stuff but on a small scale because when we are doing junk journals um, we tend to do bigger embellishments and die cuts and things and sometimes you need a an embellishment that is not so big you need a tiny something to um, finish off a page and I should be able to stop my timer for that silliness it wouldn't come out um, but sometimes we need a tiny something to finish off a page and I have found that a lot lately so I wanted to make some small embellishments and I have little digital sitting around I have vellum I have paper bag um, all sorts of fun stuff and you could always use some lace if you wanted to and ooh, I like how that looks kind of looks like little wings and put a little something on the other side of it I like that let's see here 
we're just seeing what we can get accomplished. I think I want that and do like a one that's got a little bit of yellow in it. So let's see here. Get my scissors and cut out something that goes along with that. Or it doesn't have to go along with it. I like this little August 29th. So let's trim that out and add that just to give it some color. I went with the one that's got some blue in it. So if you do this and you make videos, um, go ahead and hashtag us m's scrap busters in your video and if you don't make videos of course just post it in our group m scrap busters um in the scrapbooking with me group you can post it there and just make sure you get that hashtag put in there so there's one I love that just a little something little snippets we're making but they're they've all got the same exact background it's a one and a half inch circle and I love that all right I'm gonna come around this I think I'm gonna cut that out instead of tearing it it's just some old well I say old these are recent scraps that I've got in my roll here. So some Tim Holtz cardstock from the Memoranda collection. I really love that collection. And I'm going to ink that. Whoops. Ooh, I like that. I think I need some... Horn paper bag behind it and it can of course hang off of the um, circle it doesn't have to be as tiny as the circle is but you don't want it huge either to cover up all of that circle so cut one more time that's cute and I think I'll have it hanging off of one side here yeah so you can still see your circle background that's um, part of the challenge I'm putting in there you want to see some of that background you've got the one and a half inch circles for a reason and let's try to make it so you can actually see the one and a half inch circle that is your background and this glue is going to hold me up from getting what I need accomplished here. So I'll switch to my, might as well just leave that off. I'll switch to my art glitter glue because my Barely Arts is all stopped up for whatever reason. Okay, I'm going to go out that way. And I think I will cut this little butterfly out and add it on and then that one will be done cute so you could get even more done if you're just using some die cuts um, that are already cut out for you and you're not having to fussy cut anything so you'll get a few more done than what I will be getting done but I just thought that this would be a cute little challenge and it is great to get rid of all of those little scraps you got laying around thinking that you'll use. This way you actually use them. Let's get this other little wing finished off here. And I'm going to distress him just a little bit he's hard to hold on to he's so tiny all right 
leave my pen out. I'm just going to put some glue right there at the back and place that on. There's our other one finished. Cute. I will give still shots of all of these um, at the end of the video, so don't worry if something's not in focus enough for you or something. I will show you up close pics of them. So, I like that, but I really need to... Ooh, I like that little butterfly for that, maybe. Get something that's a little more matchy-match. I don't have to be exactly, but I would like for it to go along with it a little bit. So it's got some browns in it. I like how that goes along with that brown. So I'll distress that. And just add adhesive to the bottom part because the top part is going to stick up and off. These little die cuts, these little things that I'm fussy cutting, they're not die cuts, these little sheets came from the May E-Club kit. They weren't already cut out for you so you had to fussy cut them. And I just love all these little things. This was from a 49 and Market um, collection. It's called Sky, I think. I think that was all it was, was Sky. So I'm going to fussy cut that tiny little butterfly. And I think I'm going to add one of these keys on to that too. Now if you have little, if you have an ephemera organizer and you already have little stamps and things like that, fussy cutting is not part of the challenge. I just like to fussy cut. But if you've already got little pieces of, uh, pieces of ephemera that are tiny enough to go on a one and a half inch circle, then you don't have to do any fussy cutting. You can just add those, ink them, and add those on. So I'm going to get this little key trimmed out. And I'm not editing and going ahead any on this video because I want y'all to see what I get accomplished in 30 minutes since that's part of the challenge. All right, and around I go to the head of the key. Ooh, that one was a little rougher to fussy cut. I'm just gonna barely, barely fussy cut that and have that little, or should I do it up? Decisions, decisions, and I don't have long to make these decisions, so. Got to go, go, go. I kind of like it like that. So let's just barely get some ink on that. Oh, and my art glitter glue's decided to bubble up. Okay, there. A little bit on the back of my butterfly. And there, cute. There's another little artsy piece to put in our journals. Now, let's see, let's do this one. And, hmm, I think I might add half of this vine here. And then maybe the back side of this here. I like that. 
maybe another larger piece. Here. Let's get that. There we go. Ooh, I like that. Pretty. Okay. So let's ink those edges. There. Yep, I like that. And then let's do fussy cut this plant. Because um, as much as I love butterflies, let's not do a butterfly on everything, Melina. Two out of four. <laughs> so I'm batting 50. Uh, <laughs> Of what I've made so far anyway okay my son Aaron is cleaning in the background so if you hear that I'm very blessed that I have a child that likes to clean he is the only one of our children <laughs> that likes to clean but I'm very glad that I have him and he likes to do that and help mom out because if he didn't, between work at the shop and cooking and cleaning, I would not have time to do videos. So, y'all are thankful for him too, right? <laughs> mm, very thankful. I love to be able to just give him that list and him go with it and me come out with a clean home in the end from it and of course he does get an allowance for that we don't just make him do everybody's cleaning and not give him anything we actually give him some money for that and then I'm going to reach up here and let everything fall out and get a little bit of bling to add to this one. I like the little black epoxy sticker. So there's another one all done. Oh, I can't wait for y'all to see these up close in the pictures at the end. They're so cute. All right, let's do... A plain craft one and let's add some post and on the back is ledger so a little bit of postcardy looking like that and then a little bit of ledger look Let's do that and that since we've got a, a um, plain circle background we can cover a little bit more of that but I do want it to be seen so I'm not going to cover all of it because I want these to be to stay dainty and have a dainty look to them and add that one there and I'm going to add this one there okay and then I'm going to reach up into my handy dandy die cut drawer and see if I can't find something gorgeous to go on there. Oh, I like that. And maybe an acrylic star, maybe. Yeah. 
Um, oh, Melania, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. I don't like to leave in the moment, too, but that's to be. Um, let's see. Maybe that and that. Ooh, I like that. Pretty, pretty. I'm going to leave that within arm's reach. And I'm going to ink the edges. Put this. I'm not going to ink that. I like the stark white of it. I want to move it over just a little bit so it's not so center. Cute. I like that one. Very cute. All right, there's that. Let's go ahead and do this little butterfly and I'm going to do it on this background here. I mean, these can go in anything. It doesn't even have to be a junk journal. You can do modern papers, not ink edges, and put these in your on your scrapbook pages or whatever. It does not have to be in a junk journal. And it does not have to be vintage looking. Okay, there's my little butterfly I want to add to this one. And I want to put some of this navy paper on it. Kind of give it a good clash. And then maybe some of this too. I like that. So I'm going to ink those edges up there too and I'm going to put that there and this one will hang off the top so I won't go all the way there and then Ink that little butterfly. Hmm, let's see. Where do I like him? I think I like him right there. And I think I will add just a little bit more of something on the other side. So he's more dragonfly -y looking than butterfly y. But I like that. Okay, and maybe a little, oh yeah, one of these little cute. Yes, I like that. All right, there's the next one finished. And I don't have autofocus on, that's why it's not showing up really good. So, um, like I said, I will have these at the end. So, six done, and we are. We still got a little over nine minutes to go. So let's see. That's great. Let's try to get at least eight done. Okay, let's do that one and that one. Let's do something like this. And trim it down the middle and add those to that just like that. I like a torn edge and then a straight edge. That is cute. All right. And of course when you're doing this you don't have to rush yourself at all. <clears throat> just get what you can get done within the 30 minutes. You don't have to rush around. I just like the thrill of it. <laughs> Let's turn this. This has got some lettering on it, so let's turn that so I can see it. Good, good. 
All right, and let's see what else we got here. Let's put some more vellum and some more bag. Let's do a little bitty, try to get a circular piece that works of that vellum. Okay, just a little dot will do me for the vellum and a little dot on the paper bag and I didn't even distress on those so I'm good with that and let's add this little word here Ooh, that's cute. That is so cute. Oh yeah. I like that. Okay. Okay. And let's see here. What else? Maybe this. I don't like that. It is a little bigger than what I've been using, but I like it. Okay. Put that across there and maybe add a little piece of something something bling there and there. I like that. Yay! Those are cute. All right. There's two more. We've still got six minutes. Yay. All right, let's try four. Two more. Let's do this one. And oh, let's do this one. We haven't done one with that kind of background. It's the same thing, just turned over. I distressed that one side and didn't distress the other side. So let's do this. I'm going to cut off that one corner and then ink that and add it here. I cannot wait to see what you accomplish in your challenge entry. I want to see what you get done in the 30 minutes. Oh, yes, I've got a stamp right here. Let's get that done. Hey, this doing two at one time kind of saves a little bit of time. I like that. Okay, let's get that trimmed out. And if you've already got those already cut die cuts, you won't have to worry about all of this cutting that I'm doing. I like that. And what's this right here? Ooh, some wood look. Okay. Trim that around and distress that a little bit. And put down that. And then put down this. I like that. There and there. All right. And what else are we going to do here? Let's distress that a little bit. And put that out there. Cute. Oh, and I need something else here. And I am running out of time. 
uh, let's see here. Let's cut out this here. I can do it. I can do it, y'all. I can do it. I'm getting down to the wire, but I can do it. All right. I don't even want to look at my phone. It make me anxious. Okay, there and there. And cut off that edge and distress it. Cute. And glue that on. Thank you so much, Love Junk Journals. Tracy Fox, that covered that one up good. I like that. And add me, I'm into this bling now that I've started. Add me a little piece of bling there. And I just feel like this needs something else. Let's see here. Ah. <laughs> okay, let's look here. Yes. Another Tracy Fox win here. I like this little piece right here. All right. Lenny, you cannot have more than one minute. Let's get this done. Ah. Okay. And trim it out. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Almost. I'm just going to dirty up the one side and put in this here. I like that. And this tiny little black piece of bling. Look at there. Cute. I love that. Okay, let's see here. Oh, we still got a, a little over a minute. Yay. All right. Maybe one more. <laughs> uh, come on, y'all rush around with me and be a silly along with me. This already had some walnut stain on the one side. I haven't done any. Yeah, I have. That one has the stuff um, hanging off of both ends. So let's do that. And let's get this little red piece here. Let's fussy cut around that. I'm shaking. Trying to get one more done. It's crazy. All right, stress. And add that there. And then a little piece of this, maybe. Oh, and there is my timer. So I almost got. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I almost got eleven done. So I got ten in total done. I'll go ahead and finish this one since I'm so close to having it done. I was going to do it right here and find a butterfly. Since I hadn't used a butterfly for a little bit, for a hot second. Let's go ahead and get this one. So if you're finishing up one and your timer goes off, go ahead and finish it. Because I am. Alright, so I'm just finishing this. Fussy cut that out. Add my other piece of paper that I already had cut out. And then, I will have made 11 little circular snippets to add to my journals. And be sure and use the hashtag M's Scrap Busters if you do this challenge and show us what you made. I want to see. I want to see what you made. I gotta put some glue on the back of this one. Put it there. And I'm gonna distress up at the top of that one where I didn't. 
and put that there cute all right so that's that finished so I got 11 done and I still have plenty of scraps to do all of the rest of these but I will show you all 11 of these up close and personal in still shots at the end of this video thanks so much for sticking around and watching me be a little crazy and see what I could get done with some one and a half inch circle punch outs from some scrap paper that I had and what I decorated them like. I love um, being able to use up scraps and I love being able to make little pieces of art. If you've ever made little inchies this is kind of like that. So thank you so much for sticking around and seeing how I decorated them and y'all have a great day. Subscribe to me. Give me an inky thumbs up and y'all have a blessed day. Bye y'all.